Hi everyone, Ms. Kelly from the Wakanda Area Library here to show you what you're doing with this month's Art to Go kit. This month, you guys are making your own gnomes. Um, so inside your kit, you're going to find some stuffing, some faux fur, some yarn, some elastics, a nose, <laughs> a stocking, um, some felt for a hat, a little extra scraps of felt too, and some beans. You're gonna need some scissors, some, if you have some like tacky glue or fabric glue, that's the best. Um, and if you're crafty and you wanna try and you've got access to a needle and thread, you could try that too. Um, but you don't have to be a sewer to do this. It's, it's you know, it's, it's just if you want to. I tried, um, either way is fun. It still comes out either, either way, it comes out looking just as nice. Okay, so to start, you're going to take the stocking, which is gonna become his body, and you're gonna turn it inside out and then gather it together tightly at the bottom. And you're gonna take one of your elastics and wrap it on there. These little elastics are harder to work with than you think. Make sure you put it on really tight because you're gonna put the beans and the stuffing in there. You don't want it to leak out at all. So put it in there really tight. All right. And once you have it on really tight, you're gonna turn it back right side out. So that's gonna be on the inside. So no one's gonna see it. So it doesn't matter if your elastic is red like the one I'm using here. I think I just put a bunch of different colors in there. Okay, we're gonna put it back in this way. So now you've got his body ready. And you're gonna take your beans. I gave you a pretty good amount of beans and stuffing. It's the, the material we're using for the body is really stretchy, so it's entirely up to you. You can put in as much as you want, make them bigger or smaller. Um, the beans are kind of nice though because it gives it weight and it'll stand up nice. So you're gonna pour those in. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can even just put the whole bag right in there if you want. Leave it, leave it right in the plastic, it's up to you. Give it a little bit of weight. I think I'm gonna put all mine in, I want it to be a little bit bigger. Gives it a nice weight. It's kind of squishy, you can squish it around and change the shape of it while you're working on it too, so it's up to you. A good way to do this too, if you have a cup to put it in and stretch the opening over it, you can just pour that over too. The, the body over the opening it makes it easier to hold it still for you or if you've got someone to help you do it and do it together okay so here's his base that's that whole bag of beans it really didn't fill it up that much okay and then we're going to take the stuffing next and if you're concerned if you don't like to be able to see the beans through you can make sure that you put the stuffing kind of over it that'll cover that part for me i think it looks fine it's cute i like them Kind of make sure that stuffing takes it up. So when you're putting this in though, if you do decide, however amount you do decide to use, you need to tuck it in there good because otherwise when you're trying to put your elastic on the top, it'll get tangled up in there. It makes it a little tricky to put it on. So I'm tucking around like that. And you see what I mean, how you can kind of see it through. So if you want, you just take your stuffing. It's really stretchy, that stuffing. It doesn't look like much, but it'll stretch really far. You can kind of cover it down over there. So it covers the beans, so you can see, so you can't see that any, anymore, you can see. Okay, so when you get it the way that you're happy with, you're gonna take another elastic. Remember what I said, this one's not gonna show either, so it doesn't matter what color it is. We're gonna put this one on here. All right. Put, again, put it on really tight so none of your filling comes out. Or keep his shape. Okay, let's set that to the side and work on his hat. So again, you can kind of just Keep playing with it, get it to the shape that you like. It's pretty tough. Okay. All right, let's set him to the side. And then you're gonna take your hat. So if you're not a sewer and you just wanna glue it, that's fine. You're just gonna kind of roll it to make a cone. And you're going to take, here, let me take one over here I've got. We'll take your glue. And you're just gonna put a bead of glue all the way down the inside like this. Okay. If you are gluing, this is something you're gonna to have to do and let it sit to the side for a while. So you'll have to let it completely dry before it's done. And then roll it over, and then you're gonna put, line that up right into the glue. I'll lift it up and show you guys so you can see. So you wanna take it at the bottom and make sure you kind of match that up. Most of the glue that you use, it's good, chances are it's gonna dry clear. You're not gonna see it. So you can see a little white poking through there. You probably won't see it, don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm pressing it kind of tight. Don't put too much, you don't want to, if you put too much glue on felt, it starts to get a little stiff. So you just put just enough and then I'm pressing all the way down 
And then I'm gonna let that sit and dry for a little while. I have another one here that I sewed. I just took a needle and thread and instead I wrapped it around that same way and I pinched it together into a little stitch all the way down the side. Now you can do two things. You can turn it back inside out so the stitches are hidden, but I like the stitches to show. I think it's kind of rustic and fun on my gnome, so I'm gonna leave that out. Okay, so your next step is going to be to decide, do you want your gnome to have a beard or a braid or both? Any way you wanna do it is fine. Um, the way that I found was easiest to do if you do wanna make a braid is I, your yarn's gonna be like this. I've put it together just so it wouldn't get all tangled in your bag. I've already done one end. If you either have someone hold this for you or you tape it down, all right, and then test your braiding skills. All right, and you're gonna go all the way down. Do it kind of tightly, otherwise it's just gonna fall apart. That's why having it taped down helps. It keeps it straight and tight for you like this. Some of you might have, or you can do, you don't have to do a regular braid, you can do anything you want. I've seen some of the friends have done things like uh, put a little bit of different color in there. They, maybe you can even color the yarn with a marker if you want your gnome to have a little wild streak in uh, his or her hair. It's up to you. And you get all the way to the end. I put it, several elastics in there, you should have plenty, but if you want and you're making the braid, you can always, if you have ribbon or string or something at home and you wanna tie them, so they have like a fun little different color ties at the end, you can do that too. So when you get to the end, you are going to put your other elastic on this end. Uh, I have a red one for here. This for me is the hardest part if it's not taped down, you're trying to put this elastic on it will tangle you in knots. Okay, so there is your one braid that's actually gonna act as two. And what you could do too, either be really careful when you're braiding, but when you get like this, you can look and see how my one's a little bit longer. I'm just gonna take my scissors and give him a little haircut. There we go, so both ends are about the same. This one's still a little bit long. Okay, so. Since I've got this sewn hat here, we can go ahead and assemble it right now. So we're gonna take our body and you're gonna put your hat on. Okay. All right, so you're gonna see how much shows now. I'm gonna measure where my beard goes. You want the hat and beard to kind of meet up right there because the hat's gonna cover that edge of the beard. So this is where you're gonna take that glue again. And this edge, you don't, try not to get any of the glue on the, foot, the fur part. It gets really tangly and tacky. So you're just gonna do it on this backing here. Put a nice little bit across the back here. All right. And remember, we're gonna put it, I haven't glued the hat down yet. We're just gonna try it. We're still using it just to measure because the hat's gonna kind of cover that edge of that beard. So I can, all right, and then press it on there firmly. All right, there you go. So now at this point, if you want to add the braid, you can take your braid, I've got another one here. You could take your braid and kind of wrap it around like this. And then our hat's gonna go back on. And now it's time to add our nose. So it's just gonna peek out right about here, okay? Or if you don't wanna put the braid on, you can leave it off. Same thing, if you don't want to put the beard on, you skip this whole step and you're just going to put your braid on, okay? So, I'm sure I like where that is. So before I glue my hat down, I'm going to put my nose, I'm going to glue my, glue my nose down. So I like it just peek out just a little bit. So if you notice, I'm going to center it right in the middle of my beard and put it right onto my beard, okay? Same thing with the glue. So I've been gluing my hats on. You don't have to. You can just set it on there so it'll be able to come off if you want or it's entirely up to you. Um, but I like to glue it on so it stays there. Okay, so you just put a little glue on both sides of the hat and you'll get it to stay right where it's at. I also put a little bit of scrap felt in there. I thought it was fun because Valentine's Day is coming up so I thought I would maybe put a little embellishment on my gnome. The fun thing is about this, you guys can really personalize these any way you want. 
make it into your own thing. And these can be made with anything you guys have laying around the house. You can use like the sleeve of a t-shirt. If you got an old t-shirt, you can cut that off and you'll get that same shape we have from the stocking. You just need that rectangle shape that you can open both ends. So I'll cut a little heart out here. Maybe put a little heart on my gnome's hat. Yeah, I think I like that. It'll grow a little heart on there. And that's it. Like I said, if you want to add your braid, you put the braid. So, and then here's the fun part here too. You can groom that beard a little bit. Um, and if it needs to, give it a little trim. There you go. And that's it. Have fun. Send me some pictures and keep an eye out for next month's project. Bye now.